Hello everybody, Sawyer189, and here we're here with a review for Oblivion Song number two from mm -hmm. Robert Kirkman. Um, first off, I want to talk about this cover because I think it looks, to me, it gives off a, a very somber, uh, personal feel, which is definitely what this issue is reflects more than the first issue, definitely. But overall, I don't think it's that great of a cover. I don't think it's that great of a selling point, you know, as like a cover. You know, usually covers need to pop. To me, covers need to pop. They had to need to have some kind of really big explosive detailed art this one just feels like a more personal thing it feels like a panel which it it kind of is a panel kind of not in the, in the issue but overall I didn't like this cover but that's not really important because it covers only one part of the issue but let's just get into it shall we so this issue is much slower paced it's more character driven it's it deals more with like with the past and the aftermath and the way people ref reflect on what's happening we got some of that in the first issue, but this one really expands a lot more on those kind of like more social ideals. And it's really interesting because, you know, while I wanted some action in this issue, and there's not a whole lot of it set towards the end, it was still a very engaging issue, very engaging read. The issue starts off with some a lot of exposition in the form of a guided tour of the museum slash a memorial for the incident where Nathan is bringing the two people that he saved from the other side in the last issue. And we see them kind of have a little bit of shell shock, like seeing some of these things kind of trigger memories that kind of makes them uneasy. And Nathan realizes that, but he also realizes that seeing this kind of help, will help transition them a little bit easier. We, we, get a lot of, we get a lot of info dump in the very beginning over here. Like, and it's kind of cool. There's some cool visuals. We see that there's like a half car here that like half the car got materialized in the other dimension or whatever. And that, I thought that was cool. We also see like there's a stuffed animal, or not stuffed animal, but there's a stuffed exhibit from one of the monsters that came over, and they, and he talks about how it took 40 hours for the military to take it down, and it, it, it actually sounds like a really awesome, you know, scene that we'll probably never see actually play out. And he even talks about the story of a cop that sacrificed his life to save a bunch of people, and they made a movie out of it. It's very interesting dialogue. And it um, it definitely hides the fact that it's really just all exposition and just setting up the world for you even more than the first issue. One thing I think this book has been doing a great job of has been to really give you all the meat and potatoes, the stuff you really need to know in the first issue, but still have a very quick pace in the first issue and then we kind of slow down the second issue while we give you the rest of what you really need to know and give you more character development more character motivations it was really good like I like how they do it they a lot of other books can take a note from this because a lot of other books just throw you all the exposition in the first issue and it feels like you're literally playing the tutorial of a video game versus reading a new story where this feels like it's it's paced well enough because even though the second issue is almost all just more set up and more character driven stuff it was very entertaining very it was very good to read it through it um basically nathan gets word that there's actually a organized movement on the other side that the people are actually that a lot of the people have actually organized and they've moved out of the city into another part of the dimension and that they only come back to the dimension for like supply runs and to check and check up on stuff and that they're led by a guy named edward who if you remember you know, the Nathan's brother's name is Ed, so Nathan immediately starts to have red flags that maybe his brother is the one organizing these people, even though that seems very uncharacteristic of what Nathan knows his brother to be like. But still, it was interesting, and it gives, it gives Nathan all the motivation he needs to go back and really look for people, even more so than he had been doing before, like a longer trip out, farther out than he usually goes into the dimension. I'm not sure, is it called something else? I think it's just called, I think they actually call it Oblivion in, this, in, the, in the issue. But as we remember in the last issue, at the, you know, we found that Edward doesn't know that that's his brother that's been attacking, killing people. Because it looks like to them that that Nathan is actually attacking people and disintegrating them with his weapons. But in reality, he's actually transporting them back to our world. So, of course, there's going to be some conflict once Nathan actually does get a hold of his brother and the other survivors. So, all in all, I thought this was a really good issue, a good follow-up to the first issue. I am interested to see, like, what kind of you know, crazy developments come in this story because right now it feels like the story is very, uh, very focused. Like it, it could actually end in a few issues. I feel like it wouldn't really take that long to really get to, for Nathan to get the hold of his brother to have the conflict be over. And then they all try to get back. I feel like that could actually happen within a, you know, four or five issues. So 
and knowing Robert Kirkman, this is probably going to be a long landing, long lasting series. So I'm interested to see like what kind of crazy developments happen, like what what kind of new antagonists come along or new because there's all kinds of possibilities for new monsters to pop up, new kinds of species of life to appear from to maybe for maybe another city block to get disappear or a whole state or something. You know, we have this incident happen again. I mean, it's interesting to see to speculate on what could happen. So yeah, I'm definitely interested and in, in happy happy to see what happens next in this series. As always, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and um, yeah, check out more videos as I as more books come out.